Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another updated episode 3.1 video. Today we are back with Watch Dogs Legion. So as most of you know that DLSS enabler trunk version gets updated uh, every one or two days like after uh, every one or two days they update the file but they just don't change the version name. They just change the file in between. So I have downloaded uh, the 7th november of 24th update which works with uh watchdog legion so i have renamed the file as uh DSL dlss enabler trunk uh watchdog legions so first of all we will be using this file so we need to extract it and uh, second thing is msi afterburner is not compatible while this mod is being used so first thing you need to quit the uh, msi afterburner along with the revert unit display or any kind of overlay app if you have enabled it uh, nvidia is uh, working for now nvidia overlay so, but uh, i do recommend uh, close it while testing but i will be using it as i cannot show you the generated fps and everything so yeah uh, so first we will be double clicking on the dlss enabler trunk then we click accept next next old users know what to do new users follow me step by step so we're gonna go to the installation directory of watchdogs legion which is here after that bean after that uh, yeah this folder it is up in the bean folder where the watchdog legions.exe is located what we're going to do click on the file bar then right click then copy the path and come back to the dlss enabler then select it and delete the path and paste the path we just copied from here after that we click on next now in here i have seen many people messing up at this step so what we need to do is if you have an nvidia gpu uh, you will not need to enable this but if you have an amd and intel gpu you need to enable this also if your mod is not working you can try these versions of alternative versions of the mod so if you have reshared installed you can use this one uh, if you have a dll not working or you got already a dll file you can win the winm dll the asi plugin so these are just the options of the mod which you can try if the mod is not working for you at the first place and this tick is only for amd and intel gpu so i hope that's clear so i'm gonna select the dll version that is optimal compatibility compatibility sorry for my pronunciation uh, and after that we will select the optical 0.7 because 0.7 has the frame generation and 0.6 does not so we select 0.7 then we click install reg enable disable signature file then click next and install now after the installation gets complete we click on finish and you will see some files will be created here along with uh, disable signature override and restore signature override so we need to double click on disable signature override and click on yes and click on ok now one more thing is uh, how to fix the hood the frame generation will work but the hood fix requires a slight tweak in the game so yeah i will show that so let's dive into the game now updated list of rental games offline activation and some popular untried games is here feel free to pause the video choose your game come to discord and send message to the cheap games mind channel all right uh, we are inside the game and uh, as you can see the fps overlay of nvidia is showing the fps around uh, 60 yeah 60 fps about 50 to 60 fps in this area so in order to turn on the frame generation first we will need to turn on the dlss in game so we wanna go to the uh, video then quality then scroll down here and even on non rtx slash amd gtx gpu you will be able to use the dlss now so you will need to set the dlss to any scalar balanced quality whatever you want i'm gonna set it to quality for now then we come back to the game and uh, and now you can see the fps has boosted a little bit uh, above 60 so we need to press the insert button on the keyboard and this kind of menu will open up now in here we will see frame generation by default this upscaler will be set to fsr 3.1 if you don't have an rtx card but if you have an rtx the upscaler will be selected to dlss so we need to turn on the frame generation then if we come back in the game you can see now the fps is uh, 
hovering around 100 fps 120 but you can see that the hood and subtitles and aims everything is flickering so even if we apply the hood fix you can still see that hood is some kind of flickering here so what we need to do is enable the extended hood fix so we open up menu again and enable the extended hood fix and you will see that uh, it's still little bit flickering so we need to switch it to two the limit to all right so we have switched to the uh, what do you say uh, the hood limit to and uh, it's little bit better but it's still not fixed yet wait let me hide the nvidia overlay all right yeah after hiding the nvidia overlay uh, the fps is still very much smooth i can feel it but you can still see that some elements of the game like uh, the aim uh, of the hacking what do you say prompt is still running at 30 fps like this white dot is still running at uh, 30 fps for some reason but the game is still running at 60 fps so yeah there is a little issue still remaining so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to show you if it's a real frame or not by limiting the game's fps to 30 so we come here fps limit we set it to 30 then i'm going to enable the fps overlay again so and now i'm going to first disable the frame generation all right now i have disabled the frame generation you can see fps is showing 30 and the game is also feeling a little bit choppy slash laggy and you need to play this video on 60 fps in order to see the difference of frame generation uh, and as soon as i press insert and click on the frame generation along with hood fix you can see that now the video has smoothened up a little bit but yeah that aim pointer is still running at 30 fps but that's not a big issue the game is mainly running at 60 fps yeah there is still some minor issue remaining like uh, uh, sometime the what do you say the insert button and this one this hood fix one or two sometime working sometime not so yeah you will need to tweak a little bit and see run and trial and error kind of thing see which one be works better for you but yeah this one will uh, this one will work on most of the gpus i think uh, also do not run msi afterburner overlay uh, that will mess up with the game and make it crash every two or three minutes or so so yeah uh, this will be it for this video hope this will help you if this helps you consider subscribing to the channel i'm bringing new hood fix sevesa 3.1 video every day and uh, if you're facing any kind of issue you can comment down below join discord for cheap games and mods upcoming mods and everything and i'll see you guys in the next one until then cheers